Today we're going to learn how to install Odemex, one of the classic Doom ports. So here I'm on the Odemex SourceForge page, which is sourceforge.net slash projects slash Odemex. You can also go to odemex.net, which is the website, which will also link to this page. So today we're going to be installing this on a Windows system, and I'm going to do that using the, the zip. So if you scroll down to the page here, you'll see Project Activity. Um, they're going to have an executable, which is an automatic installation. So if you're more comfortable doing that, go ahead and do that. But I'm going to show you how easy it is to do this with a zip file. So I'm just going to click the zip here to download the file, which will eventually download. And once that's done downloading, I'm just going to open that up. And you'll see there's a folder here called Odemax Win64 8.3. Okay, so now if you go to your computer, I'm going to install this on the C drive. And I'm just going to make a folder. You don't have to do this. You could move the whole Odemax folder over. I'm just going to make a new folder called Odemax. Open that up. And I'm just going to select everything. You can do Control A. You can just highlight everything. I will use Control A. Right click, click Copy. Go to the Installation folder. Right click, click Paste. It's going to put all of those files for Odemex right here in the folder. And there's only one other piece that you need to do to finish the installation. And that's to put your Doom2 or Doom.wad file, which is basically where all the data is for your Doom game. So go to wherever your normal Doom installation folder is. Maybe you've downloaded it off Steam and you'll have to find the, the local libraries and you're looking for Doom2.wad. I've got mine right here and I'm just going to once again copy that over. And I'm going to paste that into the Odemex folder. Now all you need to do is load the Odemex.exe There it is. It's launched. Use your escape key, bring up a menu. Use your arrow keys to go up and down that menu and hit enter anytime you want to go in or hit escape to go back. All right, first thing I did there was just turn the sound down. And actually I'll turn the, the music down as well, just so you can hear me talk. So using the arrow keys, I'm going to go to Options. The first thing I like to do is set the video mode. And I play on 4x3. I'm just going to set that. That's oh, too big. There we go. Good enough. This is in window mode. You can set this to full screen if you like. Uh, use the right or left arrows. And Escape. Customize controls. It's already set up for WASD which is default, but basically you can traverse the menus and set it up any way you wish. New game, set a setting, there you go. Odemex is already installed and I can actually play Doom 2. Hit escape and hit quit. If you want to do any advanced configurations, Odemex will generate an odemex.cfg file. I always open this up in Notepad. You can right-click, open with, Notepad. And this is all the configurations that you can set manually if you're more used to setting your settings like this in Quake or any other modern game. Now, when you want to play multiplayer against anybody else, there's an Oda launch. Double-click Oda launch. We're going to run this application. And this is the server list for Odemex. You can find any server you want, or if you're playing in any of the official tournaments, you find the tournament server, you can just double click and, and go. There's also an area where you would configure the launcher. You'll have to tell it where the file locations are. And that's it. Now you can use Odemex.